I was privileged to go to Alaska and see the Northern Lights, and it was quite a, a spiritual experience for me um, to see them and love them. So I'm wondering if Alcazar has anything to say about because they, you know, when I was there seeing them myself, I felt the energy and knew that it was something so much more than just the lights and the pretty lights. It's like, okay, there's there's something more going on than just, you know, because so, so can Alcazar enlighten us a little bit about that? Beloved ones, you are electromagnetic beings. Your science knows this. You radiate electrical and magnetic energies. Your science can measure it. And what is coming from the sun, these solar rays, is electrical and magnetic energy. Interferes, it mixes and merges with the magnetics of your earth and your own magnetic. So, observing the beauty of the northern lights or the southern light can be very touching if you are a little sensitive because you're seeing on the outside what's actually occurring on the inside to your own energies in a subtle way that normally you are not aware of. These past few days there has been intense solar activity reaching the earth which has created a much stronger field and it's moved closer both further south and further north so that more and more people could see on the outside the beauty of those lights and the energy but it's touching you on the inside you are totally connected to what is occurring both in the so-called heavens and to the earth this is how your astrology can tell you about influences on your life. Not the kind of astrology you see in the newspapers, but true astrology can assist you and guide you according to the energies that can be seen in advance to be coming to you. So, there have been many strong experiences. The eclipses that you have just moved through, they have an effect on you. If you meditate during these times and feel your own energy, you might notice what is happening within. All these things align to assist the awakening of humanity. From our perspective, we can see this. From your perspective, a little trust is needed. But it is the case. These energies have the potential of accelerating you in the direction that you are putting your energy. So if you are putting your energy into awakening, it's an accelerant to your awakening. If, however, you are putting your energies into the negativity, manipulation, control, it accelerates it that way also, which is leading to the great conflicts that you are seeing in your world. You are seeing more and more the manipulation wanting to control humanity. You have experienced this with your so-called COVID. 
And we told you years ago that this is just the first two more already planned. And it is up to you how you respond. Do you go along with the manipulation or do you say simply, no, not for me? But when there is something very strong and manipulative like COVID, it creates a beautiful reaction also. It stimulates those who say, no, I am not going to live like that. And so there is always a so-called backlash to these negative attempts of control. And that backlash or that desire to live in a different way is getting stronger and stronger in humanity. And so even those so-called negative things can create more consciousness evolving. So be careful, because if you judge these things, if you hold judgment against them, then you are lowering your vibration. And you're going along with that lower frequency energy. So notice what is happening. And no, not for me. Keep your energy focus on what you wish to have in your life. Okay? A long answer to a simple question. I'm just kind of curious. Anyone else seeing colors in these meditations today? Cool. Eugenia was telling us about, you want to talk about it? What you've been seeing? Yeah, um, she's... Saturday, I think. Uh, I had to lay down uh, uh, when we arrived here and I was feeling really exhausted and I thought, okay, I will sleep for one hour. And the moment I lay down, these colors, green and violet, uh, pink, were like playing above me and I was like relating with the uh, the auroras, the, the north lights, and that was such a beautiful, beautiful and pristine energy, and I was receiving this download for 20 minutes, and I was asking, what is this about, the meaning of this pure uh, light, and uh, today, in the morning, I had the same experience. I was feeling like they were dancing above me. And I feel the energy really strong integrating in my body. And we were talking about the, how that can open people to wonder. Like everyone now is looking to the sky, expecting to see something that they really don't know <laughs> what it is. But there's a feeling of wonder and magic and love I really feel there's a frequency of love in those lights we love it we love it there is a switch on the sun that turns these lights on and off. <laughs> now it is coming all the time. <laughs> but you only see it when your skies are dark. They are coming to you every moment. Sometimes they are very strong. And sometimes they are not so strong. But it is coming to your earth all the time. They are moving through you all the time. Existence is just saying, hey, take a look. These energies are here to support you. 
the more that you relax into the now, the more aware you become of the subtle energies that are influencing you all the time. This is a beautiful demonstration, but you also have chaotic energies from your cell phone disturbing your fear, challenging the very sophisticated brain that you have, making it more and more difficult for it to function properly. So, as you become more aware, you will notice how the different energies around affect you. Go into one of your big stores that have all this strip lighting, as you call it. Wander around there for half an hour and you will feel exhausted because it is not good for the body. It is not good for the brain. Okay. 